everyone. This is Chris again with Virtual Firearms Association. And before we get started, go ahead and take advantage of the free gifts that we have the offer. Free marksmanship enhancement class, as well as virtual targets for you to utilize at the range. I'm excited today. We have an Army and a Navy veteran that are going to participate in the Dickens Drill. For those of y'all who aren't familiar with the Dickens Drill, it is in honor of 22-year-old Eli Dickens, who successfully engaged an active shooter with 10 rounds, getting eight hits, starting at a distance of 40 yards. Yes, that's almost half the length of a football field. That's pretty far. Today's practice is commonly known about the 3-3-3 drill, in which you should be able to get three center mass hits at three yards and three seconds. But that's not always going to be the case if you have somebody walking with a long gun or some type of rifle from distance. The 3 3 3 drill just is not going to get it done. So today we have the Army veteran and the Navy veteran that are participating in the Dickens drill, in which they're going to be starting at the target at 40 yards with 10 rounds and 15 seconds. They have to get eight out of the 10 hits anywhere on the target to pass on a humanoid target. All right. Again, a humanoid target. That's the silhouette of a human. It, for those of y'all who may not know what a humanoid target is. All right. Let's make it happen. Here we go. Take it away, Frank. This is me and Walker, Army veteran from Texas, running through the Dickens drill. Once again, I'm using a bone stock Glock 48, and he's using a Glock 19 with all the bells and whistles on it. All right, we're out here at the range in Tennessee. We have Walker, a Navy, or I'm sorry, a Army veteran from Texas. Both he and I are going to run the Dickens drill right now. We got paced out to about 40 yards. We each got 10 rounds. I'm shooting a Glock 48 stone cold stock. What are you shooting? I'm shooting a Glock 19 with a Trigger Con RMR on top. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, so Army versus Navy. Let's see how it goes. Let me get into position here. We have 10 rounds. 15 seconds from the holster. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Fire! How do you think you did? I missed two. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what happens here. <laughs> Line's cold. All right, let's take a look. What do we need? We need eight on target, right? Yep, For the Dickens. Target. Ideally eight in the A zone, but <laughs> I went a little fast. Oh, uh, looks like I might have threw one. Oh, I threw two. All right, let's see what we have here. So I'm on the right, you're on the left. Let's start with you over here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got seven up there. Yep. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Same over here. Seven, one in the center. Oh, seven, eight, nine. Am I completely off paper? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine and i got one off paper man i think we need to practice more yeah <laughs> hey it was a blast i appreciate yeah, it no, that was awesome thanks man. man all right round two army redemption oh, army redemption on this one yeah all right ready yep shooters ready Clear. Yeah. Time? Okay. Still at time. Let's go see. All right, here we go. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, one complete miss. One, two, three, four, five, six again. Seven's over there. Eight. That might be a double up there. No, I think no, I'm single. Yeah, I think I. So eight and two off, unless you see any more. No. 
Yeah. That's too off. Well, hey, that was fun, brother. <laughs> it is. There you have it. Army versus Navy participating in the Dickens drill. I would like to thank Frank and Walker for coming out and making this happen. One thing I wanted to point out is that using a red dot optic, you would think that there would be an advantage. However, that was incorrect. Remember, sticking to basic marksmanship, fundamentals, and practice is the key to success. That wraps it up. If you have any questions or concerns, leave a comment so it could be addressed. I'll talk to you soon and stay safe.